Okay. All right. You guys are opening up a whole fucking can of worms right now. Whoop. About Ducharme and about past Montreal Canadiens, not history, but behind the scenes. Have you guys been keeping up with fucking Pierre Gervais' book? Yes, I heard. I, I keep okay. issues. Okay, what's going on with that? I don't know. Is it is this story. is this a controversy? Is is it there is. a fucking is there a controversy going? Know. Dude, Pierre Gervais' book is stirring shit up. Like yeah, he's saying it, it like, shouldn't be said about the patch yeah. ready, the dressing room talk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so um hold on, I'm gonna find I'm gonna find the title of uh Pierre Gervais' you know, book I here. Want to buy it now. I want to buy it too, but it, it's only it, it's it's only um it's only in French, but that's okay. I, I could read French. Anthony, you might have a bit of, of a hard time. But... <laughs> it's in French for you. So, so, so look, Pierre, Pierre, Pierre Gervais. Au, au, cœur du ve- au cœur du vestiaire. So we all mm. know that Pierre Gervais was the equipment manager for the Canadians for the past, it's like, what, 35 years? years? Yeah, 30, yeah. 30, oh, 30, almost 40 years. Ah. The Canadians give him a big, like, retirement ceremony last year. They got him a fucking army golf cart. Uh, like on practice, there was, was a whole spiel, and like he was well respected in the dressing room, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, apparently, now this book, like he, I think we all have to realize one thing it's from his perspective only, and they're not, are they facts? Who knows? But people are on Twitter are fucked in the head, especially nowadays. I don't care who I offend, it's fucking true. <laughs> okay. But yes, Anthony, he said things that like apparently the players did not really have Dominic Ducharme's respect. They liked Luke Richardson more. Uh, they they oh, wow. there was a bunch of frustration going on, rightfully so. But apparently, he was saying they didn't want to play for for Dom Ducharme anymore. When they found out that he was hired as the head coach, apparently they were not too happy. Um, what else? Apparently, Pacioretty wasn't wasn't exactly the leader we all thought he was i'm i'm just quoting here i i'm i'm not even quoting i'm just i'm just speculating here from what i've read in french in french articles and and on twitter and and all that yeah uh i didn't i don't know much about i didn't really get to anything about Michel Terrien when he was the head coach but apparently Marc Bergevin was an emotional roller coaster and that a lot of the decisions he made were based on his emotions, like how he felt, like he needed hmm. a fucking like. So I mean, I mean, we all could have fucking seen that too. But but yeah, and but then you got you got players like Nick Suzuki coming out and saying like, look, it was a frustrating year for all of us. But no, we we like Dom. We we wish him all the best. We hope he gets a job here. He, Gallagher saying things like, look, that's it's. it's yeah, there was there was frustration. The blame <laughs> is on us, the players. But Sorry. you know, it's 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 it's. Uh... I'm gonna read the, a quote from that book in English. Yeah, in English. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> so apparently, he says that Captain Max Pacioretty was a very self-centered guy who rarely smiled and didn't often mingle with others. The former yeah. equipment manager explained that if the Canadians won a ten-game winning streak. Patretti would sulk if he hadn't scored. <laughs> yeah, but it's, you yeah. know what? They, I, but we I, all knew that I already. I think that's like, true because yeah. that, that's how I felt. Like that's how he perceived it, Patretti. I but everything he wrote to me, to, to me, that sounds that's truthful. A fact. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but hold on a sec. Again, that that co- that's that's maybe Gervais' perspective. But at the same time, too, if Patretti doesn't score, like he's paid to score goals. If he's not gonna score goals, like. You know, for all, for all we know, Patrick could have been happy that the team is winning, but he's not happy with himself. No, no, like, but what nothing, he's saying there's is nothing that wrong a with captain that. Captain should not sulk if he's if he's his team is on a ten game winning streak. He should not be sulking, even if he's I, a goal scorer. I, I, I get that's that. That's not a leader. You know but my question is, job is not to sulk. My question is, is is this really true though? Well, I don't so, know if it's true, but I can believe it. Seeing how I've seen Patrick that that mm-hmm. I feel that's the way he is. It could be, but that's uh, yeah, maybe. But so was wrote, this was this was this going on while he was captain or before he became captain? So he wrote uh, another quote was um, 
Chavez says former team captain Max Pacioli was a oh no, I read that already. Sorry. Uh there was there weren't many candidates at the time. I understand that, but in my opinion, it would have been better not to have a captain than an appointed mm -hmm. a bad one. Wow. Looking back, yes, I believe I that, that Mike Pechevin yes. and Mike Terrien, my Michel Terrien, sorry, would not have let the players choose if they had suspected the result of the vote. Wow. What? But wait a minute. No, hold hold, hold on a sec. Apparently they did have the players choose. They had the players voted. Here it says they would have not let... Oh, wait, sorry. I believe that Mark Bergevin and Michel Tene would not have let the players choose had they known if they had, had suspected Mike's... the result yeah. of the vote. That's exactly. it. So, so you're... They, vote, they did vote, but they wouldn't have let them vote if they knew the results at the end of it. That's yeah. what he's saying. And about Subban. So this is another... Thing. Well, that's the thing. That's, that's my question is, was, was PK really supposed to be the captain? So here, Gervais also confirms rumors that the captain had problems with teammate Piqué Subban, saying the two often argued with one another. Finally, Gervais reveals that the negative sentiments were shared among most members of the locker room. Everyone knew what kind of individual he was. No one was more important than him. He didn't get much respect from the guys. So no one respected Subban in the room. Or are you talking about Pacioretty? I think it's Pacioretty. Uh, Pacioretty, mm, yeah. Dude, I, I, don't, I, I don't know, man. Like, like... Dude, Price loved PK. Uh, no, Dale, talking about, talking about, Dale, Dale, about, yeah. about Max. Yeah, but I know, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying in general. Uh, yeah, I, it's it's look all, all that to say. It's like like I'm I'm curious now. Like I really want to buy this book. Yeah, I think I'm gonna read it. Like I, I want to see what they're. I'm just gonna read this. This is pretty much everything. It's all kind of <laughs> and it's in English. It, it's in English. It's easy. Cost zero dollars. Anthony, Anthony, it's all. Cheap. It's all the main points, right? Mark he's, could. He's, Mark Benjamin was moody. The cheap illiterate fuck. <laughs> Mark Benjamin. Mark could be very pleasant, but very moody. He could arrive in the morning, and you would wonder if he had just been through a family crisis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably Holy after. <laughs> It's probably after he signed all those bad contracts. He did great thing. He did great things, but did great damage as well. Uh. He needed a mentor to learn how to manage staff, budgets, talk to people, and deal with his own fame as well. Holy shit, Sam! You know what this? You know what my first thinking is after hearing what Anthony's saying, right? You know what you're wrong. Like you're wrong. You've okay. been wrong all this time. Gervais, Joey, you've been wrong. Gervais knows. Pierre Gervais knows, and he's explaining in this book exactly what I talked about with Bergevin. What, what, what did you... Okay, go, go, go. What did you talk about Bergevin? Let's go. Let's no, go. I'm here, not, here. Zook, I'm Zook, not mentioning Zook, again. Zook wants you to say something that'll piss me off. Now's your chance. Let's go. All the bad contracts. It, Anthony explained oh, we it. All, but we all knew that. But we all knew that. We all knew the contracts were Mark bad. Mark was a teenager. <laughs> 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 A ripped one. Okay. Guys getting, they, ripping everybody. Okay, Anthony, while Joey and I fucking argue and Zook eats the popcorn, you do more research on, <laughs> on Gervais's book. All right, Joe, let's go. Sam, it just, it, it just clearly shows if, if he's right, Bergevin did not know how to manage contracts, and we all knew Patrick was. Gervais also, Pierre Gervais also said that, that had Bergevin. Have like an assistant, like a Jeff Gordon or or or. But he did So you don't make mistakes. I mean, how else do you won't make a right? It's not that it's wrong. How did? But he doesn't know any better at that time. He's going with the best he's got, or with whatever knowledge that he has. If he has nobody to help him out, and so it's yeah. piss poor knowledge. That's what. Yeah, it is. Knowledge, what, did you, exactly. what, did you, what did you want from him? Fuck. Like, what did you expect? But th this like, is my like, argument. He, he, came, he came from. He came from Chicago. As, not even as an assistant, like would like he came as uh, practically a scout. Like what? What do you want from Sammy, him? We should be shitting on him, and in the end, you're turning Ooh. around saying, "What do you expect from him?" I, I expect I better. I, but, but, but a guy, a, Joe, Joe, a guy. Thing, a, go, Anthony, please. When I hear people say that Dusharm had lost the room in the end, he didn't lose it because he never really had it. Adding that Luke had the room. The guys worked for him. Boom. Okay. Yeah. And it showed. Uh, that's why they, you know, if Ducharme wasn't behind the bench, was behind the bench against Vegas, they probably would have lost. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. The players fucking, they played their hearts out that series. I don't care who would have been behind the bench. No, they I am not. They played for Weber and Price. That's exactly Yeah, no. I, they I, played I, for I, Weber. They played for Price. They even played for Stahl. They played for Perry. The, the, like, I'm not, I'm not convinced. I, I, I think Luke Richardson was able to deliver. Whatever message was to the guys a lot easier than Ducharme because Ducharme just can't speak anything, plain simple. 
Like, I don't want to. I'm just, I'm just joking on yeah, the guy. Like a robot. Played very well. Oh no, no, it's, the, it's, no, it's not even that. It's, it's why on us? See, they follow. He's so, not a communicator. So, yeah. So, proposal, proposal. He, he does exactly those yeah. eyes too. Yeah, he's like he's like he's like Mr. Mr. Snow, like uh, for, uh, <laughs> Sam. It was just Anyways, uh, between no, him Joe, and having Bergevin is just a bad combination, really. It's uh, like, Joe, come on, like he he, he the con his, 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 the worst things that he did were the contracts and trading for fucking bottom six players that would, were supposed to add grit and. Stuff like Dwight King and Steve Ott. But he, like, he was very good on. You have to admit, Joel. Like, yes, as much as we, we can shit on Benjamin, but he all was this great. Stuff, he was no, okay, he wasn't great lot. on trade. He was good on trades. Yes, he Andy, was good I on agree. trades. He was smart on keeping the young assets because anybody else would have traded the potential Caulfield and Suzuki's on this and that. All this is because what you're seeing right now is all Benjamin's moves mm. and draft picks. Except for except for Sergachev, I think. I forget he did he did he did trade Sergachev. That's no, most political. That, that, it's not all. <laughs> my one <laughs> counter, my one counter argument all is will always be he he made him and Timmons made some good choices and some really bad ones. Their first round, by the way, their first round background and choices are atrocious. But anyways, he yes. did make some good picks and trades. Uh, first of all, to me, Caulfield fell on his lap. I I look at it as the guy fell on your lap. Okay, but uh, you still take him whatever. Uh, God, but the people he chose under him to develop these players That's is it. where the faith would have been lost. Like they wouldn't be the same. You Joey. literally needed Bergevin to draft these players and change entire GM coach to make them develop properly. Because if you develop them under Bergevin's decisions, I don't think they would have amounted to what they are now. And it's Joe, the truth. Joe, they 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 were aiming for Caulfield even before the draft started. Okay, Go look- so I said okay, fine, whatever. He made the good choice, but. Where, where I would lose it is, like, I'm glad this happens. We changed to ownership that can seem to be developing players. If he was still there, not ownership, sorry, GM-ship or whatever. If he was still there, I wouldn't have faith that they would be developing the players the way they are. I, I, you and I, for the first time this episode, we agree. But that's why the changes were made, because it just wasn't no, working sure. anymore. But how often does that happen is you have these prospects and then you change literally from GM all the way down to coach. And then it's other people developing your process. I'm just saying that that doesn't we got lucky, but that does not happen often. So if Bergeman ever does this for another team, I think he's going to fail at it. Well, That's he's he's, he's uh, 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 in L.A. He's nowhere near making decisions right now. <laughs> so. Well. And look at them, and, and 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 look at them. Where are they in the standings? I don't even know, but they're, I know they're above five hundred. But they're always the old team right now. With no, they're 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 not. They're they're a top team, Joe. They're they're. I thought they're uh, about five, about uh, just a bit a bit above. They're 500. top ten, Joe. They're they're eleven nine and two. So a bit above five hundred. <laughs> they're ninth place though overall. Yeah. Okay. So they're 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 decent. They're they're pretty good. They're got they're getting. There's better. only dude. There's only, um. Four teams that are dominant right now: Boston, yeah, NHL has been, yeah, it's Boston, been New Jersey, Vegas, and put in Dallas. There, eleven and five. Toronto, Toronto, Jack Carolina, Ka- Toronto, Carolina. Yeah, Jack Eich, dude, he's getting he's getting eighty points. That guy. Toronto and Carolina, ten and five. Okay, that's that that's fine. But then the rest after that, like the Rangers, ten and six. Carolina, twelve and eight. LA, eleven and nine. Colorado, eleven and five. Okay, not bad. Winnipeg, eleven and five. It's a weird start. There's a lot of 500 teams. It's, uh, it's there, close to there is so so. This is why, like maybe who knows where the Canadians could drop. No, no, no. We're not getting into that. I I can't. <laughs> I, can't. I had enough frustration look, with Canada today. I don't want to get into this. Oh my god. Well, look. I mean, look. The Canadians are winning so far as we speak. I know I'm behind you guys, but I got less. I got four minutes and 45 seconds left. So about 20 seconds ahead. There's okay. uh, so. <laughs> what I else? Just gonna read the no, not, nothing about the book. No, no, it's not about the book. Well, it's about the book, but it's about Nick's. I don't know if you guys want me to say it now, but we could talk about offline. But Nick Suzuki and Gallagher spoke out about the controversial uh, comments about. Yeah, the, they're not. They're not. They're not too. Uh, I, yeah, I said it. Like Suzuki said, I, I, I have respect for Dom, and I wish him the best. I, I hope he... for everybody. I think Jervy felt he needed to get it off his chest, but I don't know what his intentions were. We all have respect for those guys, and hopefully they do well. And then Gallagher kind of like indirectly shot at him. It's like, I don't know if there's a cold, 
But anything that happens in a room, it should be a family thing. And yes, yeah. he broke. Oh my the god! The first oh, time I agree with Gallagher. Both Holy of them, both, Joey. Both of them spoken like true captains, true yeah. leaders. Yeah, but he's well, not a captain. Both, Gallagher's both, he's an assistant, and Gallagher assistant said captain. The right he's an oh, assistant captain. captain. He's assistant no, captain. But I, I, look, I agree with Gallagher. It should be should be kept. It should be kept in the room. Like yeah. people shouldn't speak out. I mean, it's I them. I I agree, but at the same time too, like, do you guys not like some of these behind the scenes stuff? Oh, I love them. I love it too, for sure. It's entertainment, man. Yeah, it's, it's entertainment. For entertainment. These are things that you'll never know, and you'll never know the full truth. But I think Jervy. Wow, Jervy. That was my Jervy. Jervy. You know what? Anthony, your last name is, is the same name, just in French. In French, Jervy. Just, 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 if you're dyslexic, just change the I with the S, and you're, you you're go. good. That's your alias <laughs> tomorrow for collection. Anthony's the whistleblower of the curfew boys, Muff like Jervy's for uh, <laughs> Next thing you know, Anthony's gonna write a book about the, <laughs> about the curfew boys, the behind <laughs> the scenes of the. I never had respect for Joey, a little piece of shit. <laughs> it, 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 look for us, it is, it is entertainment. It's good to know behind the scenes.